Malaysian embassy officials are on the way to Wuhan, China to bring back 120 Malaysians stranded in the epicenter of the novel coronavirus outbreak. In a phone interview, Malaysian ambassador to China, Raja Datuk Nur Shiwan Zainal Abidin, said Chinese authorities have finally given the green light to repatriate them home. Well, it's a team of uh, six people, uh, from, all from the embassy, who left uh, Wuhan at 10.30 in the morning. So uh, we're expecting them to arrive at uh, midnight or slightly after uh, today. Uh, that's the uh, first point. The second point is their task is to prepare the ground for the eventual repatriation of, of the Malaysians to, to Malaysia. Uh, third point is uh, to date, there's about 120 people who have been uh, listed uh, as part of that repatriation exercise. Fourthly, the um, numbers may change depending on the uh, depending on the situation because the list is still still being uh, being updated and also depending on uh, the uh, discussions that our team there has with the with the authorities so the next point is uh, so far we've been getting uh, good cooperation from the uh, chinese government very thankful to uh, to them they've been very accommodating to our to to, to our request and um, and uh, lastly uh, we hope that this uh, evacuation process is quite confident that it will go quite uh, quite well. Well, uh, public transportation has been uh, shut down. In the uh, city of Wuhan itself, um, we will uh, we will try to get uh, transportation. For those uh, outside of uh, Wuhan, we'll try to do the same. Although uh, movement is still being restricted, so uh, for those cases. Uh, we will uh, try to speak to the provincial government uh, to give them uh, permission to move uh, from where they are located to Wuhan. Meanwhile, a Malaysian student from the University of Shandong in China has managed to make it back to Malaysia early this morning. Nurul Atika Adanan boarded a Malaysia Airlines flight and landed at Kuala Lumpur International Airport, KLIA, at 4 a.m. Nurul Atika, who is the eldest of six siblings and a Chinese government scholarship holder, was reported to have left Jinan in Shandong last week after the virus epidemic in China came to light. She had first planned to take a direct flight to Bangkok, Thailand, but faced a roadblock after Thai authorities started cancelling all flights from China. Nora Atika then took a train to Beijing and flew from the Daxing International Airport at 9 a.m. last night before arriving at KLIA. News of her attempt to leave China caught the attention of the Malaysian media last week. A patient suspected of contracting the novel coronavirus who allegedly left the Sungai Buloh Hospital yesterday while waiting for treatment has since returned to the hospital after a police report was launched. The 24-year-old from Rawang was admitted at around 1pm yesterday after suffering from fever and coughing for two days. According to hospital records, the patient had travelled to China between January 19 and 26 and had visited Wuhan for two days. The hospital began testing him for the coronavirus and he was asked to wait at the contagious disease ward. At around 3.30 p.m. on Friday, hospital staff realised that the patient had disappeared while waiting to be admitted to the ward. Police then contacted him and later confirmed that the patient has now returned to the hospital. Now, Chinese tourists and other foreigners who have travelled to China in the last 14 days will be refused entry into Surau with immediate effect until further notice. State Disaster Management Committee Secretariat in statement today said the ban was part of the state government's measures to mitigate the spread of the novel coronavirus in Sarawak. Those with employment passes, student passes or long-term social visit passes are allowed to enter the state but it would be compulsory for them to undergo self-quarantine at home for two weeks. Chinese nationals who are already in Sarawak were also advised to report to the Chinese consulate of their whereabouts and accommodation in the state. The young Deputan Agong Al Sultan Abdullah Riayatuddin Al Mustafa Billah Shah, meanwhile, praised the government's quick action in preventing the spread of the 2019 novel coronavirus infection in the country. His Majesty said the government, however, has to continuously undertake precautionary measures, not com uh, compromising on issues affecting the well being of the people and the country.
kita perlu ingat diri kita itu kita masih lagi juga menghadapi berbagai penyakit yang ada di sekarang di Malaysia ini yang bertapak di Malaysia ini khususnya penyakit denggi penyakit H1N1 penyakit influenza A dan yang lebih berbahaya yang cukup membimbang ialah bagi saya ialah penyakit virus fake news dan saya harap dan saya harap tidak adalah rakyat kita dengan sewenang-wenang sesuka hati untuk merebakkan penyakit ini kerana ini akan menghancurkan rakyat kita yang kita cintai ini dan dengan itu saya juga berharap kerajaan gunakan kebijaksanaan untuk dapat menasihat dan mengawal virus viral yang saya maksudkan tadi His Majesty said this during the investiture ceremony held in conjunction with the Federal Territory Day celebration at Istana Malawat in Putrajaya on Saturday. Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad and his wife Tun Dr. Siti Hasmah Muhammad Ali, Deputy Prime Minister Datuk Sri Dr. Wan Aziza Wan Ismail and Federal Territory Minister Khalid Abdul Samad were present at the ceremony. Al Sultan Abdullah also called on the people to support the efforts of the government in dealing with the infection.